Hi Daily Dosers, this is Terry. Today is Tuesday, May 21st, 2013. And I didn't talk about the graduation yesterday. Uh, I guess there's a reason for that. Um, it was very moving to be invited to one of our Boys Town Kids graduations. We only had one senior in our house. All the rest were freshmen, and then we had one eighth grader uh, out of the eight boys. And um, it was very moving during the, during the uh, graduation when he was walking up the aisle during pomp and circumstance when it was playing. I yelled his name, and he turned around. I'm sure he didn't see me, but he heard me holler his name. And then um, I took video of the, of the um, ceremony when he got his diploma. And, and then when he got his diploma, I waited till the clapping was almost done and yelled, Yeah, Joel! Really loud, so just so he knew I was there. And then um, we found out... Uh, said in the program that there was a, uh, or a reception in the Great Hall. And uh, I had called, I had talked to, uh, talked to him the day before. I had called his house, his uh, family teacher's house, and uh, he picked up the phone. And I said, Joel, this is Terry Osborne. He said, what? And we had a nice conversation. But I wanted to get him his graduation present. I didn't know if I would see him after graduation, so I was asking if we could come over to the house. And his family teachers are right there by the phone, and they said yes. I didn't even think that there would be a campus-wide reception or, you know, I wasn't even thinking. And so um, when we looked in the program and it said there was this graduation reception in the Great Hall, so we decided to go there first just in case he and his house was there. Uh, but nobody was, but our old boss was. And so we got to chat with him, catch up a little bit. Um, that It was a difficult conversation, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was very hard, um, just because we miss the boys, and we still care a great deal about every single one. So after the Great Hall, uh, we went over to his house then, and, and sure enough, he was there with his family teachers, and there was another graduate in his house, and that graduate had all kinds of family there, and it was very, uh, all the houses are hectic. You, you just can't have a house with eight boys in it and not have a hectic house. Um, plus with company there and a big celebration like graduation, um, and the young couple that have uh, been his family teachers also have a little girl and most of the family teachers were young with children we were out of the ordinary to be a couple our age doing the work that we were doing but um and so it was very you know hectic frantic it was crazy busy but we got to talk to Jal just a little bit we just got to do the pictures give him our gift and I guess what was so difficult for me is that he was moving out that minute and I just could not hardly put myself in the position of me being a family teacher again with my kid graduating and leaving that minute, moving out. His dad was there, and here he was carrying out, uh, you know, the kid was carrying out his meager belongings. He came to us with nothing, seriously, like a pillowcase full of stuff. That was it. Um, so to watch him moving out in the middle of this, Nobody really helping him or paying attention. It was so hard. And I knew I couldn't sit down and have a conversation with him, you know. He he had, you know, he was very happy to see us, but that was not the time to ask him to put his life on hold and sit down and talk to us about how his year had gone. Um, so that was hard. It was very quick, and it was uh, the reception was very fast. And we said our goodbyes, and um, and I got to see him back out, you know, at the car. He was loading up his dad's car, and it was, it was just very hard. Thank goodness that Jim and I had two and a half hours for the ride back to Des Moines to debrief, um, go over everything. And, of course, it brought up tons of old memories that we had to rehash our time there at Boys Town. Uh, and it's hard to him imagine, it's hard for me to imagine him being out in the world, uh, but he plans on going to community college, and that's wonderful. The only reason I was able to uh, talk about him and show his picture in that uh, 
is he's no longer a Boys Town resident. He's he's gone. So he's a citizen, and so uh, that's the only reason we were able to share information about him is because he's no longer a resident. Um, but it was very bittersweet to watch him move out the minute he graduated, and it was very hard. Um, okay, so this morning I woke up, and oh my gosh, I'm past five minutes. This is going to be a long one today. The It was crazy. I woke up this morning, and my face was all greasy, and I was freaking out. I was like, whoa, because every morning I wake up, my, my face is parched dry. My mouth is parched dry, but that's me... Um, you know, when, when I started on chemotherapy, they told me lotion, lotion, lotion. That was a direct quote from my oncologist. Because it's seriously, everything just becomes like leather. It's so bizarre. And and I put so much creams and grease and, I mean, straight Vaseline on my feet. It's a hand and foot thing that they call it. That you your, your feet actually just fry. They become bright red. And so um, you just put so much lotion on and creams and... They didn't soak in last night, and I've only been off of chemo for three days. And you know, the last time when I had to go into the hospital, and I was off chemo for like three days, within three days, I was starting to get my energy back. So my doctor, my oncologist said that I am more sensitive to radiation and chemotherapy than 95% of his patients. So I believe that I am healing faster than 95% of his patients. (laughs) Because I'm already just feeling like 100%. And and my my whole being is healing. I mean, the fact that I'm not sucking up all this lotion and cream and stuff, that's, oh, it's wonderful. The mouth, my mouth sores have healed. I mean, this is all just in three days. It's going to be a good two weeks. Um, tonight's family night got moved to last night. The kids are getting ready to um, head out of town for Memorial Day, and we get to babysit, and so they've been very, very busy trying to get ready to be gone for four days. So um, we moved family night to last night, and we just met at a deli across the street. I love my neighborhood. Did I mention we have a neighborhood deli? (laughs) Yes, we do. We just walked across the street. So it was wonderful to get to see the kids. So the most positive thing in the last 24 hours was definitely family night. However, I woke up with a greasy face. (laughs) I was delighted. I am healing faster than 95% of all cancer patients. I'm just sure of it. (laughs) Okay. Thank you, Daily Doser, so much for holding me accountable to having a positive attitude. It's working. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.